Hello beautiful creative souls. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful dried flower tray. It has handles. It's a beautiful serving tray. I'm not sure how much you can see in it, but here it is. That's resin with layers and layers of dried flowers. It is the most gorgeous serving tray I have ever seen in my life. You start the project with some silicone putty and you can make the shape however you want, whatever you fancy. While I was making this, I thought I was going to turn it into a piece of art. I, halfway through the project, decided to make it a serving tray. Right now, I'm just mixing my resin. It's one-to-one -one, uh, from the, the resin store. I get it on Amazon, um, a gallon of each for $79 for both of them. After you pour the resin in, you'll take your blowtorch and quickly get rid of all the bubbles. And then I use a blow dryer to just move the resin around. I probably have about an eighth of an inch of resin right now. And I'm adding my flowers. These are flowers that have been dried and pressed. I did a video on drying and pressing flowers. So if you want to check that out, you can do that. These are pansies. I have got some orchids here. I have these beautiful tiny pink roses that my girlfriend Linda gave me uh, a while back. And that's my favorite part about this is that those flowers never die. They are forever in this piece of art. And that really makes my heart smile. <laughs> Once I lay these in, they will kind of sink to the bottom. And then I will go on and put in my second coat of resin. That's what I just did. And now I'm blow drying it to move it around. And I used my blow torch to get all the bubbles out. At this point, the flowers did change colors. The really bright periwinkle ones turned kind of a green color and some of the orange ones turned yellow. So now I'm going on top of them with different colored flowers. And that just gives it a look of dimension and just looks like they're floating in the resin. It's really so beautiful, especially from the sides. Now I'm adding one more coat of resin to the top of the flowers just to give it even more dimension. After I pour this resin, I am kind of shimming up the sides to just make sure that it's even with some just some little shim sticks. And I'm blow drying the resin out using the blow torch to get rid of the bubbles. And this is where I am now with the piece. It's got three coats of resin and two layers of flowers on it. Now I'm removing the silicone mold from the edges of the piece. This takes a little bit of time to do because I did add resin and more caulking. So the resin got in between and made this <laughs> a bit more difficult than it should have been, but I got through it. Next, I take it in the garage and I start sanding the edges because the edges tend to get really rough and you want them to be very smooth. You could actually cut yourself on them if you don't sand them. So it's really important to sand them. And now for my final layer of resin, I did a thin layer on the back, let that dry overnight and then turned it over and did a thin layer on the top. I took a little more time on the top because I just wanted to make sure that I got the resin completely covered in a really smooth, level fashion. The best part about this piece is looking through the sides and seeing all the different layers of flowers. It's absolutely beautiful. Next, I will be putting my glass handles on either side of the tray. Well, I guess I should say Keith will be putting the handles on. I got these glass handles on Amazon for $5, <laughs> two of them. And Keith just drilled a little hole in the resin and took the handles 
and put the screw in on the top and then connected it to the bottom. And here is the final piece glistening in the sunlight. You can see all the layers of flowers as they ascend on top of each other. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm so, so happy with this piece. It's the most beautiful serving tray I've ever seen in my life. And it's a wonderful conversation starter. I hope this inspired you to get your dried pressed flowers out and make some art, make something beautiful for your home. That every time you look at it, it makes your heart smile. Thanks for watching. Namaste.